<clears throat> okay, morning everyone. How are we? <laughs> Trying to have the shoulder view today. Is everything all good on the camera? Let me know. So we're actually having a morning walk today. <coughs> morning. Yep, I needed an umbrella just to look after the string pick. How am I? Um, I'm doing good. I'm alright. It's another Sunday. Bro, he's invisible. <laughs> oh, Logan's and Xander, thanks for the bits, man. And cheers to the bro Logan as well. Remember, guys, you just don't have to sub to the channel. We're just walking today, really. Xander Donovan, thanks, man. Aussie Wheels, thank you very much, brother. And Techno Lily. <laughs> Yeah, so today guys, I'm just going to take you on a bit of a walk. So I'm currently in um, Fakatani and there's a few um, carvings here as well. But most of all, the important thing is um, I want to take you to a place where some of the projects that I've worked on are standing. But for now, we're going to go that way. You've got to always look left and right when you cross the road. <laughs> But how's everyone doing? So I got my gum boots on now so I can just walk on the grass without getting wet socks. So I hate that feeling. Am I limping? Oh, my bad. Ah, uh, so it's like 11 o'clock here. But yeah, I'll just take you to um, a carved canoe or waka. So a person, um, as the chat knows, I haven't um, carved one myself. Yeah. That looks pretty good so far. It's a beautiful oh yeah, so it's kind of just the whole bank eh? covered in trees. But I hope you're all doing well. Greetings from Germany. Hey Chu, Jalix, Chu brother. Get my gum boots dirty. No point having them clean. Do you like your new PCs? Oh, I don't like it. Oh. Oh, brother. Damn bloody. Okay, come on camera. There we go. Okay, are we back? Yeah, I don't know what's up with the camera today. But um, KCL, I saw that brother. Um, thank you very much man. Just remember you guys don't have to like gift subs or, in, or sub at all to be honest. And Heimdall, thank you very much as well wow. brother. Wow, wow. Uh, 
Tafaria. Like Thanks for subbing as well. Whiskey with his 500 bits. Shit. Come on, guys. Yeah, um, I hope the camera doesn't cut out again. Because that'll be annoying. So let's just try and get to this canoe, eh? So there it is, just in the background, if you can see it. But thanks guys for the support. Just remember you don't have to sub or gift or give bits at all. It's 1am here. I guess you're in the UK? So let's go up on the track here. All the love to you both. Hey, 500 blue dude. Cheer brother, thank you. So I don't think we need our umbrella anymore. Walking stick. How's the backpack? Ah, uh, Chew and Phoenix. Um, the camera like cut out. Like it's not receiving power, but it seems to be going again. There we go, back on the track. So this whole area here, guys. As you all know, um, with the Māori people, we all migrated from Hawaii, which is a mystical place that can't be found anymore. And we came on canoes, so there's one at the back there, but that's not one of the actual ones we used. So one of the canoes I descend from is Matatu, and that's this region here. Like, goes from where I didn't land to. But um, yeah, the Matatu canoe pulled up around here, and um, there was a, so the captain, his name was Toroa, so a Toroa is an albatross as well. So um, yeah, oh look there's a bit of a shag down there. <laughs> I bet Australia's fishing will come here for, uh, for a go. But there's um, a prime spot where everyone likes to fish, so the locals called the Sugarloaf. How does one donate? Uh, you just watch bro, and after a certain amount of time it'll donate. So that's all you have to do brothers, just watch. Yeah, you're just walking. You might hear a bit of heavy breathing here and there. Cause I'm not fit. No. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd bring you guys to this canoe here. Since people have asked if I've carved one, I have never been a part of a canoe project before. I'd love to one day though. Do you guys want to go to the mouth of the river as well? Let me know. You the best, Brooks. Powdered gravy, you the best brother, not me. Choo choo, why oh, don't you fucking start with their choo choo low gains? <laughs> you know I don't like that sub thingy. So here's a traditional, so just to clarify, our ancestors didn't travel the seas on a, this type of canoe. So this is more of a war canoe. Our um, ancestors travelled on a double hull canoe. I can imagine if they travelled on one of these, they'd probably um, <laughs> capsize. So one of the designs in particular that you might see, this red design here, uh, it's known as a takarangi. It translates to what, falling sky, it's likened to a black hole as well, or a galaxy. Then now I can't tell you how our ancestors figured that one out, but um, they were pretty smart. Now from the what I can see, all these figures here. Now one of them comes from Napuhi. Now the captain Toroa of the Matatu canoe, he had a brother or a family member by the name of um what's his name? Napuhi. And they had a bit of a as as they do, a bit of a fight when they got here. And um Napuhi got a hiding, he didn't he didn't win obviously. But um he was that much of an egg, he um, took the Matatua Waka up north and that's where his tribe is. So there's a swamp up in, um, in Ngāpuhi where the Matatua Waka lays. 
and you can see the the um what's this again? Taurapa. Yeah. Wow. Wow wow. See so you check the canoe out guys, see wow. look there's a water baler there. Long time you were here. Only way to be fully And um there's that design we did on our our first project, Tarataraka. So there's that um the Feku design that we were talking about. I hope you can see it. So you notice the sharp eyes and the like some of the characteristics and this form here next to it is known as a manaya. So we take the characteristics of a bird but um incorporate the body of a man. So those were those are not were some of the original um moulds that we use. Jeez, a lot of people getting banned. Just some, um, yeah, when you come into the chat, don't be an egg. No one wants that here. Holy shit. Wixie. Thank you very much, brother. Jeez. Bro, you don't have to, like, you don't all have to gift, eh? Yeah, so these are just some of the war canoes that our ancestors used. So even today we have a, a regatta with these um, particular canoes in our Waikato which is in Hamilton for the for the king Itanga so it's like a coronation for a Māori king that happens every year is this Hawaii? no this is Aotearoa New Zealand brother <laughs> I don't believe Hawaii has flooded waters <laughs> so do you, you want to go down there? down to the mouth of the river or for a look or what? let me know you're the best uh, you're the best toy you and TJ? Nah, bro, I'm not in Tauranga. Jeez, there's a lot of toxic people on today. How far are you from Taupo? Oh, like a few hours drive. But um, I don't live in Fakatani. I'm just here for the day. Yes, please. So we're going down there? Alright. Have you watched Hunt for the Wild People? Yeah, it's funny, yes. Old, uh, what's his name? Oh, what's the young fella's name? Ricky Baker. <laughs> On the movie. Yeah, he's a cracker. Do you play rugby? <laughs> Not in a long time, bro. Yeah, Cheddar's moving fast today, which is all good. I can just, I'm going to have to watch the board. <laughs> all good, Vanta. Are you at work today? How's your um, Oculus going? Oh, is it your birthday? Brick Eats, happy birthday, brother. Hope you have a good day. Fishing stream, oh. If I was good at it and if I had a fishing rod. If you want to watch a fishing stream, um, Australis Fishing is the man you want to go and see. He even has a boat now. Wixie. <laughs> Aussie's a better at rugby. That's not what the global standings say though. <laughs> What island are you on? The North Island, brother. Big fan, isn't it? Saturday. Ah, uh, it's Sunday for us, brother. I don't even like Fab uh, Pavlova, to be honest. <laughs> is the volcano? In the, is that a volcano? Ah, oh, that's um, that's Whale Island. We, well, we know it as Motora. No, at home, just no time to watch the stream with the chat like this. Oh, fair enough, Fanta, that's all good. Hope you and your um, your partner are doing good too, bro. Ignore the boxing people, man. <laughs> oh, Baker Boy, thanks, brother. Yeah, uh, doesn't really get to me at all. I mean, that's the way they want to live, then let it be.
No, there's a few of us. Oh, oh, cheers to you and your household in anyway, brother. <laughs> See, you can tell that the water, there's a bit of flooding going on. <laughs> Oh, is the bro thunder in here too? Bro, mean to see you, um, what you did too, brother. <laughs> it's hard to catch the trolls when they're already banned. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch out for Maya and Fanta, they got those quick hands. Oh, come on, Wixie. You don't have to do that, brother. But thank you. I have to say thank you because that's rude if I don't. How's your days off, brother in Phoenix? So here, guys, we have an anchor, the preferred weapon by Nautilus. That's about it. Going on. <laughs> Greetings from London. Hey, chimp. Cheers, brother. Good man, just watching you. <laughs> oh, true. Have you been um, playing WoW well at all, the Alpha? Awesome to hear you covering, showcasing that beautiful waka. Joy from... Hey! Cheer to you, Coromandel. Thank you, brother. And a uh, shout out to Tea picky, milk and honey and tea coromandel. Two brothers. So we're almost there. Yeah, just retail, not that much alpha. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, I've really been enjoying shaman, eh? But um, that's probably the only alliance main that I want to play on that side. Plus my warrior and... Oh, on the horde. But um, the bro Nick asked me to make a brewmaster on Frostborn as well. Nick TV. Shout out to him, by the way. Another cool streamer to go and check out, guys. Um, he's a pretty damn good brewmaster as well. I hope I'm that good one day. And here comes the rain again. <coughs> Greetings from Lithuania. Oh, kia ora. Are you an atheist? Ah, um, nah. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> I play well on OCE servers. Bro, you ever get recognised in public? Um, probably like, what, five times? Which is good. I actually don't mind it, to be honest. Oh, Chaplin. Is that your name, brother? Chaplin? Thank you, brother. And also, Leonardo. Thank you very much for the bits, brother. Sorry, I just had to readjust there. Uh, guys, if you're going to come into the chat acting like a dick or an egg, um, you won't last long here. We're not really about that. And if that's what you like to do, then um, keep it to yourself. Because <laughs> no one cares. Oh, rack a million. Cheer, brother. Yeah, bro, you didn't have to give that, bro. Thank you very much, brother. You're doing in deep proud. Oh. I can't really claim that because I don't even know myself. <laughs> Sunday walks turning into Sunday bands. Yeah, pretty much, bro. You get the old rotten kumara on here now and again. Oh, blankers. <laughs> Shit, brother. Now, if there's a bloody sub train going, can you stop it? But I uh, thank you very much to the brother. 
to slam down, do it ever again. You don't have to. Thanks to Dumpy and Egg merch coming out. So I have been thinking about merch. Another one is um three giveaways. Because um, I want to start giving back to you guys. So I'll, I was thinking about it for a few nights now. Uh, give away three carvings plus three pop vinyls. If that sounds good to you. Now what I have to learn how to do is um, like a raffle system or whatever. But um, tomorrow... Tomorrow what I'm going to do is, um, no, I just shrugged my shoulders a lot. What I'm going to do is um, show you the three pieces that I'm looking at giving away. Only streamer who wants to stop something. Yeah, bro. Because, you know, the virus is still out there. Rather, no, you just look after yourselves first. Cheers from Washington State. Hey, true, brother. Yeah, so this is pretty much the mouth. We'll just go over there to where those golders are. Wow. Wow, wow. Shout us a feed. <laughs> what you got in mind, brother? Could you turn this up a bit? Thanks, Lobby. I think the rain stopped. Hold on. We've got some fellas fishing over there. So yeah, even though the water's brown, it's not too bad. <laughs> Man, I wish I could move to NZ. Oh, it's really up to you at the end of the day, brother. Probably can't move over just yet with um, what's going on. Did you try Apex or Warzone? I tried Apex on PlayStation. Bro, I got left behind, eh? <laughs> it's like you got to constantly keep moving from what I've seen in that short time. And Warzone, oh, I just got bloody lost. <laughs> so here we are now. All the love of UK is coming to watch. Hey, cheer for it, Folk TV. Cheer, brother. Oh, bloody Wixie again. <laughs> Oh, he deleted Wixie's message. Pop of money, yeah, there's Padua. <laughs> See, that's um, Whale Island over there. And I'm just around the corner, the cliff face here is um, Fakari or White Island. That's where that volcano that blew up recently. Like just off the shore. Uh, you can't see her, but you. Yeah. Hold on guys, okay, should we make our way back here? Eh? I know pity. <laughs> so yeah, from what I've been told, um, so there was an ancestor by the name of um, Te Tahi o Te Rangi. He was an old fellow. And him and his tribe went out to go and collect uh, mutton birds or titi on the island. And um, they, the tribe got annoyed with him, because eh? he was slow. So what they did, um, they left him on the island and they travelled back on the canoe coming back this way. And um, he was a priest as well. So what he did while he was watching the canoe sail away, uh, 
he did a karakia or a prayer and um, he called out to a mokoi or, or a pet or a pet whale in this instance and um, he carried him back to shore back these ways and um, he was passing the canoe and he looked at them and um, they were really embarrassed eh? that they left him behind as he was passing them on this whale and when they came back he was sitting sitting here uh, waiting for them and uh, all embarrassed that they left this uh, individual behind and um, that's that quote that came in Waiho Ma Te Whakamae Patsu I've mentioned this before and then he's let embarrassment be their punishment as they were coming back and years gone by he passed away he turned into a marakiho or a merman as you might know it and um, he's out here from what my koro told me um, if someone like drowned or was drowning here he'll push them back up now I don't know if my in-laws have a different story but yeah that's what I've been told so yeah he's resting around this area somewhere no one can find it no one wants to go and look for him anyway so yeah. Yeah, just a little something. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go that way. Back up. And now take you, so there's a, oh you probably can't see it, but there's a roof of the meeting house where um, the pieces of, or the projects I was a part of are standing. So the carving project. So we'll go there, go check it out. And um, let me know what you think. I've posted these carvings on my Instagram too, but not a close up. I wanted to save it for something like this, so we'll go that way now. Last of Us 2. No, I haven't even played Last of Us 1. I played Last of Us 1 ages ago, but I was, when you come across those clickers, I was like, fuck that. <laughs> meeting house visit. Yeah, yeah, and I'll explain the meeting house structure. All good. Do you post stories on your IG? Yep. Yeah. Yeah man, I don't like these clickers. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this ain't the game for me, eh? Oh, <laughs> see, got mine, mine, mine. No, Nemo. <laughs> Your country is beautiful. Oh, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> So some of the local kids, including my partner when she was young, they used to swim across here, onto the other side. Yeah, water rats. <laughs> Candy crushes more my pace. <laughs> Can I donate to you? You most definitely cannot. Oh look, bird fight. <laughs> How do I tip? Uh, just watch brother and it happens magically. No meme. Do I have a favourite carving that I like? Um, to be honest I love the Morley. Eh? There's not one I put above the other. Or well, at all to be honest. NZ drive on the left. Yeah pretty much bro. I'm guessing you're from America. Sorry about the wind as well. Hey, true lunar eclipse. I haven't seen you in ages. Yeah, bro. Um, a lot has happened. I'll, I'll say that. But I'm just doing it for fun, bro. <laughs> Drive to the left unless they've had one too many. <laughs> We got a couple ducks over here. <laughs> do you drive if you do? What was your dream car? What is your dream car? To be honest, um, when uh, me and my all my mates and cousins were doing like dream boards back in school, you know how you, most people like put like Lamborghinis and shit. 
I was that one guy that wanted a little Subaru STI hatchback. <laughs> They're like, oh, what a dumb car. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's a nice car. But um, my dream car, I don't really have one, eh? Just one that works. Uh, just get a truck that can carry my wood and that's it. Crazy how streamers remember followers. Oh, you have to, bro. Because you guys are the ones supporting. Is that a fish trip? Where? Oh, over there? No, that's a monsoon pool that went here horribly wrong. It turned into a disgusting swamp like thing. Where can I see your work? Um, on Instagram, brother. I think it's exclamation mark socials. Oh no, not even. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the commands like to work, sometimes they don't. Where are you at? Uh, Fakatani. Well, there's a bit of a Kiwi statue. So there's these Kiwi statues here. Um, they go right along, right along the riverside, and I think it starts from down there from an egg and it shows like the, the growth of a kiwi right up to there I think that's what my mother-in-law said do people fish around there? yeah best way to get free food I guess but um even for my in-laws as well they're big on their fishing oh, let's go this way oh no let's go this way we've already been that way But um, if the commands ain't working, my Instagram is just under the same name. Oh, there we go. Mr. Fanta Pants for the save. Ever do skiing or boarding? Ah, uh, so this month, or in August, we're going up to Whakapapa. I haven't been there since I was like, what? 12? <laughs> it's been a long time. Noisy cars, eh? So amazing. I watch spent the week in Munises and Sun. There were message on Discord asking me. Twitch for wanted to make sure I was all okay. How the people on every day all week and he was worried. Oh, yeah. Is, is donations activated? Shouldn't be. I didn't turn it on. Let me go check so I can turn it off. Oh, it shouldn't be because I haven't touched it. But then again, my baby's been touching my phone. Let me go check. I actually don't know how to. Shit. It's not. Oh, cool. Carrying on. You made my heart stop for the fan for a minute there, Fanta. <laughs> I would have ended the stream right there. What town am I in? I'm in Fakatani, bro. It's kind of like a coastal... Oh, well, it's next to the river. And the, the sea is just over that sandbar there. The stream elements on. I un uninstalled that from my phone ages ago. Okay. Oh, we better sort that out because I don't want donations. Nah, nah, that's not on if it's on. If this. If this donation box is on, I'm gonna turn it off and see what's going on. It's not set up on the bag either. 
Okay. Do any white baiting? Um, no, never have, but um, my father-in-law does. <coughs> nah, don't donate it. Nah, might be bits. But then again, you don't have to give bits either, or some. Just watch me walk around. And open my umbrella now and again. Okay, sorry. Notice me, please. <laughs> Humble you. Still good human beings on the planet. Chew, brain cod. Chew, brother. Ah, uh, I'm all right, I guess. There's a droplet on your cam lens. Okay, chat. You might get a big thumb in the screen. Here we go. Steal a boat? Oh, I don't steal, brother. <laughs> There was an instance where um, <laughs> I had like, uh, what is it, like chewing gum in a store or in the shop and I couldn't do it, I put it back. That's just not me. Sorry guys, I'm just blocking the window with the umbrella. <laughs> I like walking right into it. Unless she's want to have a bit of a airbender experience. Yeah, no, I just, I can't tell you. <laughs> That's just wrong, stealing. Hey, Chew, just how you been, brother? Bro, that photo, bro. You are a man of many. <laughs> Beautiful landscape. Yeah, it's pretty good. There's a like, lookout up there, but um, probably won't walk uphill. No one wants to hear that. <laughs> Love watching your streams. Thank you for helping restore my faith in humanity. Just so logical. Ah, oh, all good, bro. Never know, it might be tarnished soon by the stupid shit that we do in the world. When I say we, I mean all, all humans. I'm gonna go there, we. What is my real name? My real name. Too much of a fucking tongue, I'm gonna call Nah, you don't need my real name. It's Anthony. <laughs> Watching you. Oh, see, I see you got um, heaps of pairs of shoes. Are those like the next order? Does it rain the often? Yeah, all the bloody time. So, guys, if you're wanting to get some custom kicks, um, hit up the brother just for kicks. He's a man who hardly ever looks mouldy. But he is. He also looks like the dude off the mummy. <laughs> so go check him out. Is wood carving a family tradition? Oh, I would say yes. But it's also a part of our culture and our people as well. Anyone watch the Super Rugby tonight? Get out of here with your blues. <laughs> Nah, yeah, I watched it last night. Blues played a mean game, and the Chiefs, uh, yeah, just wasn't our night again. Just for kicks as a blue supporter, a T doy. Chew from Papa Moore. Hey, Chew, brother. I'm Brock Celebrity Double here, yeah, bro. He's Crocs. <laughs> Uh, kia ora maple leaves, yeah, yeah, I can see you. Kaiti pai, brother. I'm just walking in the rain. 
Trying it. to get a good stream in. <laughs> so I'm taking you guys to see um, some of the carvings that I've been a part of. Yeah, I know what uh, I seen you uh, preaching the blues uh, captain last night. Was it you? I'm sure it was. Living in Papa Moor for a bit into some kiwi fruit picking. Oh, chew, bro. Oh, Lord Chuo. You didn't have to, brother. I appreciate you. Just watching is enough. But I appreciate it, brother. Now, hopefully, they let us in because apparently it's a tourist attraction. How's your walking going? Oh, yeah, it's pretty cold. Um, but my socks are dry, though, that's all that matters. Just for kicks. He's in the chat now, brother, just below your comment. He's Middle Eastern. Ah, oh, feels good to have some good gumboots on. Oh, whack. Oh, I'll just do it because I want to show everyone what I'm up to. What accent would I love to have? Oh, I don't know. Mine is just fine, if it is an accent. How's your new PC? Yeah, it's good. Uh, I've been playing quite a bit of WoW Classic, eh? What level am I? I can't even remember. I think I'm 27, 28. It's bloody hard anyway. Hey, Scrawl, thank you very much, brother. So, yeah, this is like the area. We'll do a bit of a 360 degree, starting from that way. Doing those Instagram panning shots of the area. <laughs> How they add nostalgic music to the Instagram video. And then they push stop there and carry on with their lives. Let's go. Because it's level one. Oh, I don't even know if I'm allowed in, that's the thing. But I'll just walk in and see what happens. Surely. That's all Calipari. My name's Brooks. Panda TV's my idol. He's maining a red pally for Shadowlands. <laughs> but that's the cuz. Sing us a song. Oh no, not allowed because you can't like sing songs, you get banned. I'm just waiting for the traffic. Favourite rugby player? Now or past? You got your new Discord server? I'm not yet, brother. I'm not even um, anywhere near my PC. But I've got to set like rules up the most important thing and I forgot about it but VOD muted oh okay are you playing BFA? yeah I've been playing a bit of it so I've been playing um, retail and classic because I enjoy them both ah uh, Dan Carter uh. pine tree was one of my favourite Along with um, Jonah, I mean, who doesn't love Jonah? Brad Thorne was another favourite of mine. Uh, Richie McCall. Is it always raining? Yeah, pretty much. Rollercoaster on Zoo Tycoon? Nah, nah. I remember that's an old school video. Oh, video game. Age of Empires, though. Are you going to stream Warcraft? Yep, it's just a bit complicated for me because I'm using um, the modems off the stream pack. You should start a guild. Oh, I don't know if I can, I can keep on top of that, eh? I just like being a part of 
like guilds and whatnot. Yeah, Richie McCall's the man. Oh, true chub chub. Bro, roller coaster, that's a classic, bro. Favorite film? Uh, does Disney count? Because I think everyone will know my answer. Okay, we're pulling up to the meeting house. How pricey are houses out there? Um, so like the minimum is what, like 500,000, I think? It's, um, not gonna lie, it's pretty shit here for people that live here. Would you accept fan mail? Ah, uh, I don't know. Like a P.O. box? I only just found out that a P.O. box is different from your address. <laughs> okay. And we are here. Now this is the meeting house, guys. So um, if some of you are on Instagram, you might notice the meeting house itself in one of our photos. So I'll take you to the sign if you want. So this is the, um, well, like a, the sign in different like languages. So this just talks about how the Marae is um, sacred grounds, but um, it also has the tourist side, so welcome, welcome you appropriately, and don't enter the Marae without, within, with outside of operating hours, yeah. just tourist things. So these are the designs that we're going to do on the mask, the Pakatis that I mentioned, these are one of the most difficult designs that we have. And there's that design I did on these, the other two carvings we did, uh, Taratara Akai. But this whole meeting house itself is done in the Matatua style. So as you can see, up the top there as well. So this is a maho, so those two um, carvings that you always see behind me, it's going to look something similar to this, but um, it'll have the two barge boards up the top like instead of across it'll be angled on the top with a mask at the top and um so we'll just walk in there if i get a growling i get a growling so as you can see the structure itself uh, the meeting house is likened to the human anatomy so i'm um, obviously because we named them after our ancestors so at the top you have the face of the ancestor and the mahis, which are the barge boards painting down either side. And at the end of the barge boards, you'll see Ngāraparapa, which are the fingertips. Now in this meeting house in particular, it does have four. So that's the walk of life I explained in uh, a few streams. So the three fingers represent birth, life and death. And you'll see this meeting house has a fourth. So it has represents life after death as well. Is that a crack in the bottom right? Yeah, yeah, it happens, brother. So as you can see, the rafters up the top, which pan down, they go right inside the meeting house, right to the back of the wall. So those are kind of like the rib cage. And then you have the tahuhu up the top. So that carving there, it pans across. Oh, we'll go underneath it. So it pans right across to the back of the wall again and that's like the spine of the ancestor and in the meeting house in the middle it will have something like this so this is a popo kaiafa it's kind of like a guardian of the house that um, keeps all the negativity outside and once again with the facial markings as well so there's one that may look similar to this one inside in the middle of the house which is called a po tokomanawa and that's the heart of the house, so you never lean on it. And um, yeah, otherwise you'll get a growling from the nannies or anyone really. And so why we came here? To show you the carvings of what I was a part of. So this is one in particular that um, I was uh, fortunate enough to be a part of. So these two individuals here are Taraki Uta and Taraki Tai, so they're twins. And uh, what they were good at 
if you can look at their hands so they got spinning tops so yep we had Beyblades in their days too so um, yeah this is uh, one particular part I carved here up the top so the Pākatis are oh, pretty much did a few of them but it was all a team effort yeah so this is the main one so yeah they were well known to be good at spinning tops but once again um, they were spoilt as well and um, Obviously, the uncle was a bit jealous of them. Cheer, buddy! <laughs> so, as you can see here, yeah, um, the uncle actually murdered them. Sorry, I took a dark turn, but yeah, we've got to tell the story. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's them. And um, the way they found out that the uncle killed them. So, what the father and the mother did, they made a manuote or a kite. They set it into the sky, did their karakia and the or incantation and it floated over um, the uncle's past side or was where he was living and that's how they found out that it was him. Yeah, that's them there. So this is one of the projects that's definitely going to be here for a long time. Well, I hope so. And uh, here's the other one down the end here. So these are the amos, so they're similar to those two pillars you might have seen me do before. So these two individuals here are known as Tai Timurua and Wahahamama, so they were like warriors of Ngāti Awa, so this is a local tribe here. So that's in there, there's another one, so we did both of them. Both these two amos, and what we had to do is... Um, so we couldn't restore the originals because um, yeah, they had seen better days and it would be better to put them away in like a museum or whatnot. Oh come on guys, don't give me bits. Sweet bee, thank you man. And to everyone else, sorry I get get a bit into the the story. Eh? <laughs> but I'm um, yeah, this is them. So I'll take you inside. So this uh, meeting house was actually taken by um uh, dare I say this by the English and it um travelled around the world and um yeah there was a point where they actually rebuilt the meeting house wrong so they put all the carvings that are inside on the outside so they had to cut and adjust them and um I believe a Maori woman that was dating an English man saw this and she broke down and cried yeah so there were a few adjustments in it recently just got handed back to the tribe and I say recently there like 2011 so yeah it actually traveled all over the place eh? like to museums overseas to Australia and London so it was altered quite a lot and um, but luckily enough it's back now uh, with the tribe so yeah I'll show you an ancestor that I um, descend from so it's this guy here uh, Ruamano is his name he's from a small place called Ruatoki just like an hour outside of Whakatane yeah so this is him here he was a big rugged man too he had dreads but he was pretty tough. <laughs> so Ruamano, who he was named after, uh, he was named after an, a whale, a guardian whale. So I've mentioned these two whales that are... Um, oh. Damn Kim.
Why you do this to me, camera? This camera is just not having it with me today. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but that's pretty much... This is pretty much why I wanted to stream today, is just to show you the meeting house and what we've done. So this part here of the marae is known as a marae ateo. So this is where we would do like pōhiri or welcoming ceremonies. It's on low juice or bad connection. Yeah, yeah, um, I'm almost done anyway. I just wanted to show everyone. So the god that remains out here in our culture, his name is Tumatoinga, so the god of war. So when they come in and they go inside the meeting house, they are under the god of peace, Rungumatani. Yeah. Camera goes off Don't, don't leave me I have a butter I saw it Butterfly Oh don't leave me I know that reference <laughs> But yeah, this is pretty much it I'll walk backwards Get that bougie Instagram moment again For you guys Now oh, we got a bit of rain So I'll put the umbrella up There we go guys, so that's pretty much the meeting house. This is why I wanted to stream today, to show you guys. So there are many of these meeting houses throughout our country that are named after various um, ancestors. And this is pretty much the pinnacle of carving, if you ever carved a meeting house. And there are carvers out there that have done one, some have done three. Yeah. So one day, if I'm ever a part of a project like this, I'm not going to say no. Especially if it's one of my ancestors. What goes inside of the meeting house? Um, so carvings once again, like along the walls. So what people do, um, if they have a tie to an ancestor when they come here for meetings and whatnot, they can sit underneath them. That's how it was. Doors don't have any protection. What do you mean, brother? Oh, like in the old days, they didn't have doors at all. It was just there, open. So, I'll talk about that. So the door is for the living. In a traditional, like, funeral setup, they would take the dead through the window. Oh, wussy. Two, brother. Two months in a row. Oh, the camera wants a thumb again. My bad. <laughs> Okay guys, so yeah, that's what I wanted to show you today. Um, thank you for chilling with me. Did I miss the Sunday walk? Hey, Quinn. Yeah, unfortunately you missed it. Yeah, my lady's over there. There's my lady. <laughs> Eastern Bay, man. Yeah, pretty much, bro. So yeah, this is the meeting house itself, guys. Um, hopefully these carvings are going to be here for over a hundred years. Well, I won't know. Well, hopefully. That's the goal. Anyway, guys, um, thanks for chilling with me. I'm going to go look for someone to host now. I'm glad I got this streaming. <laughs>